Hey there, Gemini. Welcome in. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy your message today. If you do, please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment down below. I would love to know how you're doing. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. You make what I do possible. I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so much for being here. So, Gem, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. So, this is a general reading. Okay, this story, these messages herein may not reflect your current situation. If they don't, do not force them to fit. If they do, though, I hope it provides you the clarity and guidance that you seek moving forward. Now, if this is your story and you'd like some more clarification, we will, we do, we will be doing an extended reading over on the other side. I'll leave a link to the extended reading in, uh, pinned to the top of the comment section down below, along with a link to my personal booking page where you can book a reading with me if you'd like something more tailored to your specific situation. All right, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Cusp, essentially anywhere in your chart that you have Gemini. Okay, it's not limited if you have it um, and it resonates with you, then this is your message. There is something here for you. Okay, so I try to, I try to read the messages to be applicable to both love, romance, and career. However, I am going to be completely honest, Gem. I am seeing a, a very, a very significant need here to do romance specifically okay these readings that i've done so far have been largely romance related and so we're just gonna stay we're gonna stay on that track okay if i see something hugely financial or contractual i will i will go ahead and and express that grouping as i see it all right jemmy so <sighs> big decisions jem Big decisions. Either you or the person you're connecting with is reconsidering some type of contract that they're in. A marriage of sorts. Okay, a long-term commitment. Someone here is pausing. We've got expectation with marriage. By the way, I went ahead and pulled oracle cards, but we're going to be pulling the tarot together. All right? So the person that you're connecting with or you perhaps, someone here is coupled already. Someone here is coupled or someone has already committed themselves to something else that it requires more time, resource, really just it, de it demands a lot of them and so because of that you may have fallen second to whatever or whoever this is or you find yourself competing for space in this person's life as a result of whatever this commitment this contract this obligation is okay we have an overarching energy for this particular set of clarifiers as the mature man so this could be somebody with whom you are connecting this could be you gem all right, we've got message behind that and then judication behind that. So this to me speaks of some type of official documentation in in so far as romance, right? This is divorce. This is marriage. This is alimony, ch uh, child support, you know, um, it, it, all of that, right? Some Just some type of official documentation that you have to go to court for is what I'm seeing. The person you're connecting with, with judication, could be someone in the legal profession. This person could be an attorney. Um, you know, this person could be uh, a, a someone in in the in the armed forces. This could be a doctor. This could be someone someone of um, of advanced education. Okay, who is trying to come through with communication? Maybe you've received communication from this person about what their next step might be. But overall, this particular individual, this mature man, is playing a pretty vital role in whatever whatever yours your your connection is involving right now. But there's a sense here of having to wait. Now, the thing is, is you've got privileged lady with toil and labor. So, Jem, again, the mature man could be you. Maybe you are this privileged lady. But it looks here like the person you're connecting with sees you as a mismatch for where you currently are. The person you're connecting with, they see that you deserve more. Um, they see you as a high-value individual, even though maybe you see yourself as having to kind of, you know, do a lot of difficult things on a daily basis in order to maintain your livelihood like this person this person cares about you okay and i'll I'll share i'll share with you why in a minute this person cares about you very very much um but they definitely see you settling right now for less than you deserve okay or it could be the other way around you could be viewing this other person that you're connecting with this this mature man as somebody who uh is working a little bit too hard to attain the things that they really want when it's almost like the answer is right in front of their face okay but this could be you just kind of st staying staying on top of your stuff biting some bullets here you're really just doing what's necessary in order to put food on the table all right while something something or someone else in the background is is handling their business is what it feels like we've also got imprisonment with community and change 
Okay, so somebody here could have been feeling very trapped in a situation. I want to say, to be completely honest, as a reader, this mature man is the overarching energy. If you're connecting with a, with a mature man, Gem, okay, this, the, the, this energy right here is about this person. Okay, so this person is feeling trapped. This person is looking at you, seeing you, wanting to pluck you out of your environment where maybe you have things a little bit tough. They want to kind of be like your savior. They want to pull you out of a tough situation and lend you resources that are currently tied up in another situation. But they can't because those are obligations. They're still waiting to see how this marriage turns out, how this contract works out, how this long-term commitment turns out. They, they want to reach out to you right? They want to reach out to you, but they can't until they know where they stand in this situation. All right. This could have something to do with work. We've got occupation here as well. Um, this could have, you know, maybe you and this person work together. This person could be waiting to see financially what the situation holds for them. But in terms of imprisonment, this person where they were surrounded originally by a very strong support system, this support could have come from a group of friends or from an individual person, maybe even professional support. Um, but that has that has long since changed. And it looks now like the support where it once was focused on his well-being has turned around and become very selfish energy. So it's like... It's like this person wants to distance themselves from whatever this support system used to look like because it's no longer serving it's no longer serving that altruistic wholehearted sincere purpose that it once did. Someone here has become selfish, some th some kind of support system, person place or group of people. It's just it's become sour. Okay? It's become sour. And that's really the point of preoccupation for this mature man. So Gem, remember this could be someone that you're connecting with. This could be your energy. All right, but it's definitely coming through here that someone is waiting. There is a delay in <clears throat> in how a contract is panning out or waiting to see if if a situation is worth staying in. Someone here is definitely weighing out some some pro and cons list in their head. Now, we've also got culmination of vision and hope and happiness. Okay, so somebody here is trying really, really hard to... To, to bring into fruition what it is they, they desire. It's almost like someone someone wants to take their fantasy and make it real, right? So th this hope and happiness, like, they didn't think this was possible. And now that they see that it is possible, they're asking themselves, is it worth the change I need to make in order to really bring this into fruition? Somebody is a little bit at odds right now because they are, they are in a situation... That, Essentially, they're in two spheres of reality. There's the reality that they built, where they thought this type of reality was supposed to be, um, make this was supposed to make them happy, right? The marriage, the kids, the whatever, whatever their idea of long-term commitment is, financial stability, the house. You know what I mean? Um, there was some kind of, there was some kind of uh, vision that they had for what happiness looked like, and at its core, it was stability, financial, uh, marital, or otherwise. But then what happened is they experienced true love and happiness somewhere in their environment. And now they're realizing, oh, oh, I got it all wrong. And it's almost like something flipped, like in their head, something flipped, a switch was flipped. And they look at their situation. It's like they woke up one morning and they said, you know what? I made the wrong call. Like I, I only, I did the best I could at the time given what I knew. But now that I know different. This makes things really difficult. What do I do now? Because with um, cultivation of vision, we've got innocence, which actually talks about spontaneity. It talks about a surprise, expecting the unexpected. Okay, for some of you, you could be connecting with a Libra. All right, you might have Libra in your chart. Is it Was it Libra? Aquarius. I believe it was Aquarius. Um, I believe it was Aquarius, expecting the unexpected. Okay, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Libra. One of those three had to expect the unexpected and even those three readings are very very intertwined okay um take that as it resonates it may be somewhere in your chart this could these could be signs um, with whom you're dealing okay but overall the point here is the fact that this there's there's an x factor here there's an x factor here gem either you are that x factor or the person you're connecting with was that x factor for you but there was something unexpected there was something uh, there was a missing piece that this person or that you didn't even think was missing. You thought you had it together or this person thought that they had it all together. And then you came into the picture or they came into the picture and it was like, 
I didn't realize I was missing that piece. Well, that kind of changes the whole situation now. Had I started with this, where I am today would have looked so different. Now what do I do knowing what I know now about what real happiness looks like? You get what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so this person is having to go back to the drawing board and really ask themselves, how do I go about this? Because I, I can't, if I say no to this person or I say no to this opportunity, I could go the rest of my life always asking myself, well, what if? Right? I could be saying no to the to the happiest opportunity in my entire life. Can I really live with that? Versus, but can I live with what I'd have to give up, the people I would have to hurt in order to transition into this new beginning? Does this make me selfish? So it's like an internal crisis where this unexpected element has entered their environment and now they're having to go within and say, kind of regroup and ask themselves what really matters. This is really intense, Gem, either for you or the person that you're connecting with. Um, so we've got hope and happiness along with duration. So this is about making sure that this happiness can last. It's about persevering through trials and tribulations, through challenge, overcoming obstacles, okay, in the name of happiness and hope. Above all, though, very simplistically, this is about making sure that what they're feeling isn't going to lay to waste, right? This person wants to make sure that they're not just in the honeymoon phase. They want to make sure that what they feel is real. It's based on something real that you can, once you honor this connection, that you and this person um, are, are, you know, connected in a way that can fundamentally still lead to something stable. You get what I'm saying? This person is very hesitant to leave behind a stable situation that they worked really hard to create in order to leave for something that may be temporary. They don't see here that, it, that it's definitely more than that, right? There's definitely something here that can stand the distance, that can um, stand the test of time, all right? But they are want they are they are really playing, uh, they want to be safe. And because of that, I feel there might be other people involved, dependents, kids, um, older individuals that they're taking care of, maybe even a spouse that doesn't have a job. You get what I'm saying? It feels like this person is very grounded and very responsible, which is good. That's really good, Gem. So if this is the person you're connecting with, understand that they are not willing to come out of a situation that they've committed themselves to, to, you know, just in the name of love. They need something that will stand the distance. They need something that will last, you know, financially in terms of, in, in terms of, um, you know, just the stability. Okay. Which is good. That tells you a lot about the person that you're connecting with. All right. It may cause a delay, which it is, but that's a good, that's a good character trait for the person you're connecting with. Okay, Jim could be, you could be the other person, but there is definitely a feeling here of wanting to move forward with somebody. This, per this person in particular, but having to make sure that you are not just making the, the decision out of love, you're making the decision out of realistically what, what can persevere. What can persevere? Because there's a big challenge. I can see that. There's a big challenge. There's a big obstacle in the way here. Right? Whether it's a person, a situation, whatever it is, there's something here. And it, it was very unexpected. It, it was very unexpected that you that you and this person would come to a point um, so serious. This feels like a crossroad, right? Just the unex, unexpected. The unexpected has arrived, and it, it's 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 disoriented the entire plan. It's disoriented the entire plan, Jim. Sorry for the lighting in the back. It's like sunny and cloudy and sunny and cloudy. So let's see, Jemmy, what's going on with Gem and their person? What's going on with Gemini and their person, please? And then I cut. Okay. Overarching energy, ten of cups. You have found your fulfillment. All right, Gem. This person is your end all, be all. Okay. Keep in mind that this is cups, not pentacles. So, in terms of the of the family life, the marriage, the legacy, that is not here. However, the the fulfillment is true. The connection is there. 
Okay, that, that feeling of, of being one in the same, of being part of each other's spiritual family, of being part of each other's, um, of being being a part of each other, right, in terms of your, your soul connection, that is there. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. So you could be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys are smitten though, Gem. But something's being hidden. Someone's not revealing something or someone is, is just very confused. Someone's hiding something. You've got Aries energy here with the Emperor. This is all this is all riding on this mature man, Gem. This is it's all riding on this mature man. So if you this could be you as the mature man, this could be the person you're connecting with, okay? But in the recent past, you or the person or you guys together have endured, you know, something. Because you're exhausted with the nine of with the nine of wands, okay? This person's does there's they're defensive, but they're also exa exhausted. They're 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 ready to put an end to some type of struggle. Coming in, there's gonna be a little bit more equal give and take between you guys, or at the very least, a discussion. Progress is going to be made, Gem. There's a fear here that someone is not going to live up to what they said they were going to do. Or that maybe there's something about this situation that you thought would happen that isn't going to happen. You could be connecting with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. Very strong Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is about somebody who is feeling very single, okay? This is about somebody who maybe wants to become single, right? Or somebody who, you know, their desire here is to get themselves together okay someone here just wants to be acknowledged for all of the good that they've done in this situation okay but this is this is very much about them in the environment like we were talking about something really unexpected has happened a tower moment of sorts an aha moment maybe this person that you're connecting with gem maybe you realized something instrumental in this connection right you see yourself you could be connecting with a scorpio you could be connecting with a sag aries very strong Aries very very strong um, Pisces and Cancer as well but Sagittarian energy as well you guys this is how you see yourselves gem okay you see yourself as trying to make multiple things work if you are connecting with more than one person you're trying to make multiple you're trying to balance things out you're trying to maintain every person every situation every set of circumstances that you have you're trying to make it all work so that you can buy yourself time to make a decision, Gem. So if this is not you, this is the person. Excuse me, this is the person you're connecting with. This person is making a decision, trying to make a decision at the very least, right? Excuse me. Um, but in the meantime, until they make the decision, they're just trying to maintain normalcy. They're trying to just maintain everything as it is without rocking the boat. So right now, Gem, you and the person you're connecting with are in the Nine of Cups energy, being challenged by the moon. Being challenged by the moon. So there's absolutely a sense here of happiness, wish fulfillment. Your overarching energy here is the Ten of the Ten of Cups. Underneath that, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So Gem, you could be connecting with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Uh, but under that, under that as well is the seven of cups. So there's some type of, oh, under, under that is the devil. So fantasies are here. Fantasies, uh, possible self-doubt, all right, with devil energy underneath. But at its core, this person, Gem, wants stability. You want stability, okay? You right now, there's, with the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles here in the, in the clarifiers, this is a highly individual energy, Gem. You or the person you're connecting with is really only thinking about themselves, thinking about what their next move is going to be. This person is anxious, okay? For as much as they want what they want, right? They want unity. They want to be with you. They want the Ten of Cups. They want fulfillment. They want to inch closer in that direction. The truth is, is right now, they're just trying to feel good about what they're doing, about what they're thinking, about what they're feeling. They want their emotions, right? This is in the, in the, in the heart space with the emperor it's like the emperor is the number four so it's like there's a desire here to have everything under control be in control of your emotions um you know feel good about yourself gem if you're if you identify as a masculine energy here you know this is about feeling better about your about yourself feeling more stable emotionally 
not letting your emotions get the best of you, but it's like you can't help it almost. On on your mind, you've got the Seven of Swords, so you're not speaking what's on your mind. You're hiding something. You are the person that you're connecting with. Someone here is not being completely honest about the fact that they feel confused, the fact that they're not sure which way to go, the fact that even more so, uh, a certain level of depth has been created here that they weren't anticipating. Again, there's some type of unexpected happy thing that happened okay but it's made things complicated right in the recent past between you and this person um we've got the nine of wands but again i'm reading i'm reading the nines here as highly individualistic gems so this is you or the person you're connecting with has been through quite a lot and is tired okay they're tired they've been putting forth a lot of effort into something and i feel like this is separate energy i feel like whatever has exhausted them is not the same thing as what they have with you. I don't think this situation involves you at all, actually. Because right now, you guys are in the Nine of Cups. You got This is where you guys are right now. Okay, in the recent past here, someone became exhausted. But it doesn't make sense for them to have been exhausted in something that... that to go from feeling exhausted and tired and worn down by something or someone. And then going straight into the Nine of Cups energy. There's a divide. There's a, there's a chasm there. Some they someone either you or the other person has been involved in a situation that made them exhausted and you are their reprieve, right? You are what brings them joy. You are what makes them happy, and that's the thing. With the six of with the six of pentacles coming in, this has required somebody to to make up their mind about something, to go within and ask themselves, well, okay, pros and cons. What do we do now? You know, I'm in one situation that I've committed myself to, which is the right thing. But then I've also been introduced to this X factor that has made my life actually so much better in ways that I didn't think was possible. Is it possible to transfer what I've created on this side to be with this person? Can I make it work? And there's a, there's a sense here of not knowing which way to go with that. All right. Now, your, your potential outcome here is the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So this person is going to take things very, very slowly very very slowly gem you or this other person you're going to take this very very slowly okay i don't see i don't see uh i don't see much communication happening i think gem what's happening more than anything if if this person hasn't expressed to you uh that they are attracted to you they will because there's a lot of wands here right we've got the king of wands the page of wands the six of wands. So at the very least, this person wants to be noticed by you. They will do what it takes to let you know. All right. Through actions. Through actions, not through words. They're not going to communicate verbally with you. What they're going to do is they're going to show you through actions that you are on their mind. They'll compliment you. Uh, if you guys are already sexually involved, right? They'll probably take that time to share their appreciation for you, with you. Okay, just putting that out there. A lot of wands. Okay. Specifically could be dealing with an Aries or Sag or someone who's got that in their chart somewhere. Okay. But um, this person, what they're doing right now is they are trying to make peace with themselves that what they're feeling is true. Or this is what you're feeling. Right? Right? Now, let me just, I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles that we've got coming in to your immediate future. So what is the Six of Pentacles, please? What is the Six of Pentacles, please? What is the Six of Pentacles? This is about the journey, though, to getting to this fulfillment, okay? To, to, to having enough breathing room for this fulfillment gem what is the six of pentacles please five of wands yeah internal conflict that's what i'm saying it's the pro it's the pros and cons list this person is going through or you are going through okay because it's all about the mature man this 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 energy here is the is whoever this mature man is gem which could be you it could be the person you're connecting with so six of cups five of wands this person if they are the emperor if they are the emperor and they are married, okay, this person could have children involved with the Six of Cups. And it's about how would they be able to distribute their finances? How would they, if they were to leave a situation behind, if they are in the middle of ending something, how will they be able to properly distribute their resources? How, how can they feel comfortable about making this as 
seamless a transition as possible. Because again, with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like not for you, Gem, but for themselves, they want to be happy. They they don't they something about this connection, something about the circumstances surrounding you guys has amplified their dissatisfaction in what they've built. And so they're determined now to separate themselves from it, not to necessarily be with another person, but because they themselves just want something that doesn't make them feel so obligated or tied up and chained, right? They feel trapped, frankly. They feel trapped in something. One more, please, for the Six of Pentacles. But there's definitely some internal conflict surrounding how this is going to work out. This could be a soulmate connection for them, a karmic soulmate connection, since we had the Devil card there as well, under the bottom of the deck. But this is about fighting with the past, trying to, trying to, you know, struggling to put something in the past. One more card, Spirit, please. One more card to clarify this. Queen of Wands. So you, here we go. Underneath is the sun. This person is coming up already as the King of Wands, coming up with the Queen of Wands. All right, this person wants to give. Right, this person wants to be able to give to the person that they feel like is their counterpart. This person who's been with them through all of this, they want they want to be able to give something. All right, like we were saying, this person, this is how they would be showing their attraction for you. Right, they'll be showing through actions. So I think that's what this is talking about. They're going to show. They're going to have this. They're going to express to you what it is that they want to do. Okay. Now, in terms of the five of wands and the six of cups, this is talking about having an internal internal struggle about kids or having an internal struggle with putting something in the past you, this you will not see this is energy you will not see they're not going to talk about this they're not going to talk about these feelings um or these desires okay that's just not going to happen but what they are going to do is show you what they do want with you okay they're going to show you how they feel about you being their counterpart essentially so again they won't speak but they will act now, what is this potential outcome? What is this potential uh, potential outcome here for a gem? Knight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Pentacles and a potential outcome, please? Two cards. Ten of Swords with the Magician. Okay. Someone here is struggling with the idea of being able to actually start something new here. What is this magician? Energy surrounding this magician, please. Gemini, Virgo, Aries. If you're connecting with a Virgo or Aries, um, this feels like a very strong soulmate connection here. Um, but with the Ten of Swords, this could be... Gem, if you are connected with another Gemini, another Virgo, and uh, or um, another Gemini, a Virgo, or an Aries, this could be the person that you are coupled with. And with the Ten of Swords, you're trying to find a way to sever ties. And this, it's this in itself is is kind of like the source of conflict. You're not really sure um, how how long it's going to take, but you're 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 determined here to get the ball rolling. Okay. One more. What is this? What is this magician? Yeah, the cherry. It could be connecting with a cancer as well, but it's about coming into a space where you really feel determined, like you know exactly where you want to aim, and you where you want to shoot your shot, you know? So let me see. With the knight with the knight of pentacles. Right? This is taking things slow because you want to really make sure that you're making the right decision, that you're going in the right direction. You're hesitant, Gem, or the person you're connecting with is. They're hesitant about closing the distance here because they just want to make sure they do things by the book. That's what this is. They're, they're, they know that they have everything that it takes to bring, bring to fruition their desired outcome, but they want to make sure that their direction is on point. This person is very tactical, okay? This person is very, very tactical. They could be connecting very strong Virgo here, uh, very strong Cancer as well. But overall, this person is very tactical. They want to make sure that they're making the right decision, uh, decision gem. You and this person share a very strong connection, all right? Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, 
I mean, geez, you know, but this person is coming through as an emperor, or perhaps this is your energy. Someone who's not sharing the fact that in spite of the kind of revelation this connection has given them about your love, about what is about what is possible in love and happiness, basically, that that has made them rethink what their current situation looks like and that they are considering dismantling what they have created to create something new and that that involves you but they this person it's it's like they're still in this in this weird fantasy denial phase where it's like it's it's come at, as such a shock to them literally it's come as such a shock to them uh that all they know is that if they're going to make this decision, it has to be on their own and it can't be with the encouragement of someone else who may have ulterior motives, Gem, right? This person may want to be with you. Maybe they want to be with you because of self-esteem issues, right? It's, it's, it, <clears throat> the personality is very complex. The human psyche is very complex. We may feel like our feelings for somebody are very authentic and then when push comes to shove, we finally have it in our hands and we're like, oh, it was just about the chase. Bye, I'm bored. Right, and so this person knows human nature. This person understands how people can be. This, this could be your energy gem, okay? But somebody here knows the way human nature can be and they're not putting all of their eggs in one basket. All they're saying is, look, something here has shown me that my current situation and everything that I've worked for up until now was essentially misinformed. How can I use this information now to make a better situation for myself? It Because I... I have the option now to either repair what I am in or sever my, you know, sever connections, right? Put distance between, between me and the situation I've created and embark on something new with the intentions of having this fulfillment in whatever form that comes, whether it's with the person or the element in my environment that has shown me, has given me this revelation, or if it's in a completely different direction, but I'm going to do this for me. Right? I'm going to do this for me. I am determined to live a life that I feel happy about, that I feel passionately about. Be with somebody who I feel attracted to. Be with someone who I feel passionately towards. Be with somebody who I feel fulfilled by. Okay. Um, but this person is not sharing quite a lot to you, Gem. And I think, it's, I think it has a lot to do with that they don't want to make promises that they can't keep. There's no guarantees here. This person just knows that they've had a change of heart, a change of mind. And from there, they are going to make a decision that may make themselves available to you um, or will, you know, kind of encourage them to dig their heels into the situation that they've created for themselves up to this point with the information that they had in the past. But there's no doubt here that happiness and a, a real wish type of like a fantasy type of love is, is here with you guys right now, Gem. What you guys share is very special. All right. So, um, all right, Gem. So in the extended, in the extended, we're going to go ahead and see what this tower moment was. All right. We're going to see what this tower moment was. And this person that you're connecting with, this person that you're connecting with, this queen of wands or this king of wands, this person that your other half, right? How does this person feel towards you? What do they desire with you in the future? What your best movement forward will, you know, should look like as well as what the long term what the long-term outcome will look for you guys. Okay. All righty, Jim. Thank you so much for being with me, my friend. I really, really hope um, that this was able to give you clarity and guidance moving forward. If this is uh, something that you would like to do and join me over into the other side for the extended reading, though, remember that the link is posted to the top of the comment section down below. If you'd like a personal, my link is also down below and um, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment and I will talk to you later, Jemmy. Mwah. And I'll see you later.